Hello, good day viewers. So far, we have said much about sorts. In today's tutorial, we are going to look on to how to solve algebraic equations that involve sorts. While solving algebraic equations that involve sorts, you can only obtain three forms of solutions. It could either be a real solution, imaginary solution, or an extraneous solution. Imaginary solution in the complex world, real solution in the real world, that is all the real possible numbers, or extraneous solution in the case where the solution you obtain cannot satisfy the original equation. So now let us try these three problems. We want to find in each equation the value of unknown variable there that will satisfy the original equation. You can see from here we have square root of x squared minus 7 equal to 3. We definitely know that the square root of 9 equal to 3. So this value under the square root must be equal to 9. But we don't know we have to solve. Let's start with the first one. The first one we have the square root of x squared minus 7. And this is equal to 3. You know square will always cancel square root so we are free to square both sides so we can square this and square this square will cancel the square root leaving x squared minus 7 and to the other side we have 9 okay this is a real number this is also a real number we can connect them together leaving our unknown variable to the left x squared this is equal to 9 plus 7 if 7 crosses over and uh, x squared is equal to 16 but we are looking for x not x squared so to eliminate this power of 2 we can take the square root of both sides so we say the square root of x squared must be equal to the square root of 16 but mark you I have been saying this time without number that whenever you are introducing a square root to a number that does not contain a square root initially in an equation, you have to add plus or minus. This will cancel this. We have x equals plus or minus 4 because the square root of 16 is 4. This means that x could either be positive 4 or negative 4. But how can we find out? We have to check whether this is true or not check in the main equation x equals plus or minus 4 we want to check this in here so we have the square root of x squared okay let me even substitute directly x squared let's begin with positive 1 we have 4 squared minus 7 is this equal to 3 that's what we need to ask ourselves 4 squared is 16 minus 7 is this equal to 3 16 minus 7 is 9 so we have square root of 9 is this equal to 3 definitely this is equal to 3 without even checking negative 4 you know if you square a negative 4 it will give you a positive 16 so plus or minus 4 will satisfy the main equation and hence this is our real solution for the first equation now let us move on to the second one all right, what we have is square root of x plus 8 plus square root of x plus 1. This is equal to 7. Again, let us square both sides. Square this side and square the other side. Using the idea of Pascal triangle, we take the first term, we square that. Um, we, if you square this, it will cancel the square root leaving x plus 8 plus you take the second one, you square it x plus 1. Then you multiply, uh, you add, you multiply by 2 times the first term times the second term, which is going to give us square root of the expansion of these two terms. Let us expand them here. We have x times x is x squared, x times 1 is x. Then 8 times x is 8x. 8 times 1 is 8. 
this middle term we have 9 plus x and this is x squared so this is what we have under the square root we can write it as x squared plus 9x plus 8 and the whole of this equal to 49 because 7 squared is 49 so now let us collect like terms you can see we have 1 plus 8 is 9 and we have x plus x is 2x so we have 2x plus 9 plus 2 multiplied by this x squared plus 9x plus 8 this is equal to 49 let us collect the like terms um, we have um, 2x plus 2 square root of x squared plus 9x plus 8 and this is equal to 49 minus 9 because 9 is positive here once it crosses over it becomes negative so we have 40 here again you can see we have common terms 2 2 2 can go here so we can divide true by 2 if you divide 2x by 2 u of 10x you divide this by 2 it will go leaving that square root of x squared plus 9x um, plus 8 and to the right we have 20 because 40 divided by 2 is 20 again we can take this to the right we have x squared plus 9x plus 8 the whole of this equal to 20 minus x we are doing this just to eliminate the square root from the left hand side if you square both sides you have to square the other side as well so we have x squared plus 9x plus 8 and this is equal to first time squared is going to be 400 second time squared is going to be x squared minus 2 times this is 40 times x is 40x let us collect the like terms you can see this x squared will cancel x squared and um, we can now say okay 9x you bring this one backward it becomes positive 40 x and this is equal to 400 minus 8 this is 49 x equals um, 392 392 and now to find the value of x we are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x which is 49 so we see this divide by 49 this also divide by 49 this will cancel this leaving only x and to the right 392 divided by 49 is equal to 8 x equal to 8 but we have to check to see whether this is our real solution or not check from here you can see we have square root of x and x is 8 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 8 plus 1 is 9 is this equal to 7 that's what we need to ask ourselves if it is equal to 7 then we are free to say okay it is our solution square root of 16 is 4 square root of 9 is 3 is 4 plus 3 equal to 7 yes definitely this is our solution so now let us take the last one now the last one we have 1 over q equals square root of 3 minus 1 over the square root of 3 remember as always I used to say whenever you have a fraction try to eliminate the fraction first so by multiplying each term by square root of 3 we'll be able to eliminate the square root so we times this by square root of 3 we times this by square root of 3 we also times this by square root of 3 so we have square root of 3 over 3 because square root of 3 times 1 is square root of 3 this becomes square root of 3 over q this become equal to 3 because 
root 3 times root 3 is root 9, square root of 9 is 3, minus 1, because this over this is equal to 1. So you can see from here we have 3 minus 1 equal to 2. So root 3 over q is equal to 2. Um, finally, you can swap this, take q to the right, bring 2 backward, so we have q equals to root 3 over 2. And this is our final answer.